Nigeria risks losing Africa's biggest economy status as Naira's continued fall sends shockwave across the market, throwing many bank chiefs off guard. The currency crisis has shrunk the books by close to 50%, putting pressure on the capital adequacy levels of the sector. Well, this is the first hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. An NMPCL monopoly ends as marketers' fuel vessel arrives. 27 million liters imported by an independent marketer has arrived, and the vessel SD Anene will be taking a look at the impact of this on the price of fuel this morning as our second hot topic. Good morning, I am Maureen Menong Wizigwe and it's good to have you join us this morning on The Breakfast. How are you doing? It is the Friday Flex edition and it's so good to know that you're there. Well, we'll move straight to our very first top trend this morning on The Breakfast. Reps reject proposed electricity tariff increase. The House of Representatives has taken a firm stance against the National Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, by rejecting the proposed increase in electricity tariff. A resolution was reached following a motion presented by Honorable Aliyu Madaki, who expressed strong disapproval of the price hike citing the recent increase in petrol prices that has already burdened many Nigerians. The Honorable emphasized the inappropriateness and insensitivity of the timing of introducing a significant tariff increase. In response to the motion, the House mandated its committee on power, once constituted, to engage in discussions with NERC. The aim is to seek a mutual understanding and find a middle ground to address the proposed tariff hike, considering the current economic challenges faced by Nigerians. The lawmakers say the House remains committed to safeguarding the interests of Nigerians and ensuring that decisions made by regulatory bodies are in line with the welfare of the citizens. That's our very first top trending, and from that we move to the second top trending. Nigerian Immigration Service has approved the immediate redeployment of 15 controllers. In a bid to strengthen the ongoing passport reform process, the Nigerian Immigration Service has approved the immediate reposting of 15 passport officers. The Acting Controller General, Nigeria Immigration Service, Mrs. Caroline Adekwaju, gave the approval in a statement issued by the Acting Public Relations Officer, Assistant Controller of Immigration, Kenneth Kure, on Thursday in Abuja. Adekwaju said that the NIS management was determined to upgrade passport administration both at home and in the foreign missions. She assures that the service would not go back on its avoid position to make passport offices across board purely service-oriented, promising only the best brains would henceforth be posted to sensitive places. She named some of the affected passport offices as Alausa and Festac, both in Lagos, as well as the ones in Edo, Anambra, Bayelsa, Kogi, Anambra, Nasarawa, Plato, Enugu, Abia, Kano, Taraba, and Ondo, among others. She said the service has adopted a new mantra, which is service above self. The posting order was signed by the Deputy Controller General in charge of human resources, Mr. Usman Babangida. Well, those are the top trending we have for you this morning. We'll take a break and come back with Up the Press. You want to know what are those stories that made it to the headlines this morning on some national dailies. Do stay with us. <laughs> 